The following presentation is intended to help bring context to the facts surrounding this case. Some of the video has been edited to protect the privacy of the victims involved and to avoid the release of information that state law prohibits the Sheriff's Office from releasing. The redactions and edits do not affect the depiction of events presented in the video. The following presentation contains a map of the location, 911 audio, body-worn camera footage, and photos of the scene. Some of the audio and visuals we are about to present may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. On March 10, 2024, at approximately 1.10 p.m., deputies from the Kern County Sheriff's Office responded to the 200 block of East Beardsley Avenue for a report of domestic violence. The wife of the suspect called 911 to report domestic abuse. The following is audio of the initial 911 call made by the victim. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Or East Beardsley Avenue. Do you need police, fire department, or an ambulance? I need there? the police out here. What's the problem? Um, my husband is putting his hands on me. Okay, do you need medical attention? No, I don't. I do not need medical attention, but I need some help because I don't deserve this crap. Is he still there right now? Yeah, he's still here right now. Can you please help me? Please get a cop out here. Okay, we'll get a deputy out there as soon as we can or something. Thank you. Call us back. The victim called 911 a second time. The following is audio of that call. 911, what is the address of your emergency? It's 2 4 East Beardsley Avenue. Okay, it looks like you called before. Has something changed since yes, the last time you called? Has, my husband has a weapon now. Can you somebody please come out? What kind of weapon does he have? He has a gun and he has an axe. Can somebody please come out? A gun and an axe? Deputies arrived on scene at 1.13 p.m. Kern County Sheriff's Office emergency dispatchers called the victim at approximately 1.20 p.m. The following is audio of that call. Hello? Hi. Yes. This is the Sheriff's Office. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know why he's refusing to put it down? Because he's been drinking a little bit and we got in a fight earlier. <laughs> okay. I'm right across the street. I'm inside where the blue car is. And we're, we're just drinking too much. The caller stated that the suspect had a gun and an axe before she fled to a residence across the street. Upon arrival, deputies located the suspect in the front yard of his residence in possession of a rifle and an axe. Deputies made numerous announcements over the public address system for over 20 minutes instructing the suspect to drop the weapon. The MET team was dispatched to the scene but did not arrive prior to the officer-involved shooting. A call-out for the SWAT team, which includes the crisis negotiation team, was initiated. However, the officer-involved shooting occurred during the call-out. The following is footage of a department-issued body-worn camera of a deputy on scene. Please note the body camera does not capture everything the deputy sees and the deputy does not see everything the body camera captures. Hey, with the white shirt, put the rifle down! You with the white shirt! This is the Kirk County Sheriff's Office, put the rifle down! He has a rifle in his hand. Put the rifle down! Put the rifle down now! Drop the rifle! Yeah, he still has a rifle. Put the rifle down! Drop the rifle! Cool, drop the rifle now! There's one in the backyard. You guys see him? I saw somebody in the backyard. Black shirt. No, 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 no. Additional suspect in the backyard. Hey, we just want to talk! Put the rifle down! Multiple civilians refusing to evacuate the area created a higher level of concern for community safety. Hey, he's messing with the rifle! Put it down now! You with the rifle! Put the rifle down! Hey, he's picking up his rifle! Heads up, he's picking up his rifle! Cole, this is the Kern County Sheriff's Office. Drop the rifle, you're under arrest. Hey, he's reaching in his waistband. He's reaching in his waistband. He's reaching in his waistband. He's standing up. Call, drop the rifle, you're under arrest. A closer look at the deputy's side view mirror shows multiple civilians that did not obey evacuation orders, creating a higher level of concern for community safety. 
Call this is the Kern County Sheriff's Office. You're under arrest. Put the rifle down. He's standing up. He's standing up. Put the rifle down. Hey, he's grabbing it. Let me see your hands. Call. Let me see your hands. Put your hands in the air. Yes, hands in the air. Back away. Back away now. Deputies rendered medical aid until medical personnel arrived on scene. Please note the footage is from a body camera that displayed the clearest view of the scene and not the deputy who was involved in the officer involved shooting. Deputy Nicholas Rocha, who was tactically positioned in a residence across the street, was the deputy who shot the suspect. Although his body camera was activated, the view was obstructed. The following is footage of Deputy Rocha's department-issued body-worn camera. Please note the body camera does not capture everything the deputy sees and the deputy does not see everything the body camera captures. This is an aerial view from the suspect's house showing the suspect's position. Deputy Rocha's position, additional deputies' positions, as well as a civilian near the scene. This view from the south shows the suspect's position, the deputies tactically positioned inside the residence across the street, as well as an arrest team nearby. The yellow arrow indicates the location of a civilian during the incident. Here is a closer look at the rifle in the suspect's possession. Here is a closer look at the axe that was within Cole Hughes' reach. The suspect, Cole Jackson Hughes, age 53, was treated by medical aid on scene and transported to the hospital for treatment of his injuries. He was arrested for domestic battery, felony resisting, and brandishing a firearm. Cole Hughes succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced deceased on March 11, 2024. Homicide detectives responded to the scene to assume the investigation. Deputy Nicholas Rocha of the Kern County Sheriff's Office was placed on critical incident leave pending the completion of the investigation. Kern County Sheriff's Office detectives investigate any use of deadly force by any member of the department. The investigation has been submitted to the Kern County District Attorney's Office for criminal review. On April 4, 2024, the Kern County Sheriff's Office convened an incident review board examining the use of force in this incident. The use of force in this case was determined to be within policy. Anyone with additional information regarding this case is asked to contact the Kern County Sheriff's Office at 661-861-3110 or Kern Secret Witness at 661-322-4040. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.